That well, actually no. Let's stick out with the des- design of the helmet. What when you were building the this the prototype before it got to market? Yeah. What was what was in your head that it would come that it would be and sort of where what did you learn along the way during that time period uh, that got the product to where? And I know you now have a, a couple different lines, and we'll, we'll cover that. But just sort of that core of the product. Um, what was the main learning um, during that period, that development period? I, I learned so much about product design uh, along the way, um, the engineering and tooling um, of, of how a product actually gets created. Um, I think, at, you know, our number one goal was to create something um, that was a little bit different from the traditional climbing style helmets that were in the market. Um, create something with a little bit of a brim because most of these climbing style helmets didn't have any. And that rain deflection is probably the most important piece of that, but also s- some sun protection um, for these guys that are working outdoors, um, you know, in the elements. And then that was the design kind of goal. And then from there, it, it had to have, you know, the best technology. And, you know, I had some good insight from the cycling and snow sports world um, that there's a a material out there called choroid that uh, absorbs energy about 48% more efficiently than your standard EPS foam. And so it was kind of a no-brainer. Um, you know, we first had to, you know, um, make a deal and, and, and find out if choroid would want to work with a new little startup. Um, but we did, and um, I think we have a great partnership. And that's the main, um, that's the, the, the first thing in the helmet. And then um, we, we I, I wanted to put an NFC chip in the helmet, and that NFC chip stores your emergency medical profile. Um, it's called Twice Me. Um, you can have, you know, pretty much anything the user wants to put in there from blood type and diabetic, allergies, whether you're a donor, uh, you know, emergency contacts. Um, critical information that would matter um, to first responders, you know, when seconds or minutes, you know, can make a difference in saving someone's life. 